All right, guys, so here's our little review for this week. It's going to be on the Spro Aruku Shad. Uh, there's a bunch of different sizes in this lineup, so I'm going to go over uh, all the different sizes and uh, my experience out there fishing with it and uh, tell you about how it stacks up with some of these other lures uh, that I got from my Tackle Warehouse order. So let's check it out. All right, guys, so the Spro Aruku Shad. Um, like I said, they have several different sizes. They've got the Spro Aruku Shad Jr., and according to their website, they've got, after the junior, they've got a 75 and an 85. But if you go to Tackle Warehouse, they say they've got a 65, a 75, and an 85 in addition to the junior. So um, the junior has a length of two and a third inches, a weight of three eighths of an ounce, variable diving depth seeking lure. And then you go to the 65, which is two and a half inches in length, half an ounce, uh, variable sinking lure. And then you go to the 75, which is this one. Uh, it's a three inch lure, five eighths of an ounce, variable depth sinking lure. And then the bigger one, which is the 85, that one's three and three eighths inches, weighs in at a full one ounce, and a variable depth sinking lure. So uh, they pretty much got all the sizes to fit your needs, apparently. So, um, but the 75 seems to be the, the ticket for a lot of people. And uh, I think this used to be at one point, they don't recognize it on their website as a Roland Martin Signature Series bait, but right on the box it's, uh, it says Roland Martin Signature. So uh, so I think this is a Roland Martin Signature Series. Let's see if it says it on here. It doesn't say it on the bait, but it does say Aruku Shad on there. So um, really cool bait here, you guys. The, the, the first thing that you notice outside of uh, the rattling system on this clear version here is the is the shape of it. It's kind of got that irregular, weird looking shape. It's different than what we're used to from the from that really uh, nice rounded um, Excalibur there, the the XR50. So the, that's how it stacks up. I think these are both about the same size. I think the XR50 is about five eighths of an ounce as well, and this one is supposed to be five eighths of an ounce. So, but uh, it looks like it's got uh, a little bit of a bigger profile than the XR50 does. So, but uh, the thing that I like about it, the thing that you're not going to be able to notice from the pictures is the rattles. The rattling system is really, really cool in this. It's got your traditional uh, lead ballast weights here. It's got it on the belly here, and then it's got another chunk lead weight here on the front. But um, it's got like a mixture of uh, the of like the one knocker sound with that really high pitched um, chaotic sound of the of the BBs there. Um, I think there's this might be a tungsten weight up front, but I'm not sure because it's got a different color to these other ones that are back here. And these ones back here don't look like they're steel; they may be plastic. Um, and the weird thing about these ones back here, there's there's a smaller, these are smaller size BBs back here, and then these are slightly larger, and then you've got that big ball right up front. And uh, the interesting thing about these two chambers back here is that those BBs all have a hole in, in right through the middle, all the way through. And it's almost like I, either they did that on purpose or they went to the bead shop next to them and decided to put some beads in, in uh, the chambers inside of here. But... However they did it, it has a really cool sound. It's got a it's got a lot of noise going on with it. It almost sounds it it's probably the closest sounding lure to like an actual rattlesnake. For those of you that had the displeasure of actually being around a rattlesnake, um, it's probably probably the closest sounding lure to a, a rattlesnake that I've heard. So um, it's got a really cool pitch in the water, lots of vibration. Um, you guys remember the um, the mirror vibe review that I did, where I felt like I couldn't feel it later on in the cast, like when it was way away from me, I, I felt like I couldn't feel the vibration. Well, this one you can feel it really well, and in most lipless crankbaits, you know, lipless crankbaits are um, they're all essentially a flat sided version of of a crankbait without a lip, and um, so they all have a real tight wiggle, and inside of that tight wiggle you have varying degrees of tight wiggle. You have really tight where it has a minimal vibration or you have real wide version of a tight wiggle where there's lots of vibration or, or lots of knocking, hard pulling at the end of your rod. And this one would be more on the, on the that pulling style. You can really feel it, but it goes, it, it's got a real, uh, I guess, 
wide, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it goes really wide from side to side. So it knocks from here to here and, uh, and so on. So, uh, so really, really cool, uh, rattling vibration system that, that they've got here. And like I said, I don't know if they meant to put BBs in here or meant to even, to even see people that notice that the balls in here. But the thing that I'm thinking of is that if they, if they did this on purpose and put BBs in here that have holes in them, the idea, if they did it on purpose, is the only thing I can think of is maybe they did that to um, have a different pitch of the BBs. Like when they're knocking together, maybe they'll have a more hollow sounding higher pitch. So, um, but regardless of whether they meant to or not, it does make a really cool rattling sound. And um, this one does cast really well. I mean, it's, it's definitely an above average casting lure and uh, really nice looking crankbait too. You can see those, it's got those those boss style 3D eyes that you can find on Tackle Warehouse. Uh, you'll find these on a lot of different lures. They have them on, uh, the one that always comes to mind is the Copper's Live Target. They, they have them on their lures, but there's there's several others out there that have this this uh, this style. I think um, I think the Yozuri even has them on theirs. Um, anyway, I'm not gonna go into all of them, but uh, it is a really cool looking eye. So, and uh, it's got a really good um, detail to it too. It's got, uh, a nice scale pattern on it and uh, a raised gill plate on there and you can see that the front of it it's kind of dished in a little bit and I'm sure that helps catch that that vibration as it goes from side to side there so um, this one is as you can see we got two different colors I think this one is called clear chartreuse yeah clear chartreuse so it's got that light uh, that light blue kind of pearl top to it and it's a really I mean it is a really clear this there's really nothing ghost about it I look at ghost as more of um, of a cloudy clear where a clear is just as the name suggests it's clear and this one is is more clear than it is cloudy so uh, you've got a clear side with a uh, chartreuse a faint chartreuse line at that uh, when I hold it off to the side at an angle or if I put my hand behind it you can kind of see that chartreuse line a little bit better but uh, when you put it in when you put it in like direct light or something like that it's really it's showing up a lot better on the camera than it does in person but uh, when you hold it up to like the sunlight or something like that that chartreuse line really doesn't show up as much so if you really want that subtle approach fishing clear water uh, bright sunny days or something like that this would probably be the the ticket color for you you've got that bluegill ear on there and that um, that pearl belly there so this one's called clear chartreuse and this next one is called cellmate a lot of people have tried cellmate and like the jerk baits and the fat johns and stuff like that and uh i figured i would try it here this is a really cool uh, i'm pretty sure it's a proprietary color from spro and i haven't seen it in a, any other manufacturer but it's got this uh darker blue uh color but it's got a lot of um a lot of glitter in it so and uh, you can kind of see that the glitter effect when i shift it from side to side there so um and then it's got all those those uh gray dots on the upper half uh, of the bait and that dark shirt or shad dot on there too and it's kind of like an off-white color from the from the side all the way through the belly with a uh, with an orange throat and it's got a bleeding gill pattern on there as well as you can see so really cool color this one's called cellmate So let me go ahead and show you guys a measurement. They're saying it's a three inch bait. I'm showing it is more like seven eighths, 15 sixteenths. So two and seven eighths, two and 15 sixteenths. So it's a little under three inches of the three inches that they're actually saying on there. Uh, go ahead and show you guys what it looks like up against a Bill Lewis everybody's got an original rattle trap so again a little bit bigger bulkier profile than your traditional uh, like Bill Lewis or your or your Excalibur 
um, XR50s. So it's a little bit bigger, but um, the, the idea is still the same. You're, you're not going to really vary too much or deviate too much from that, that size if you're looking for that, that two and a half inch, one ounce, or excuse me, half ounce lure. So really cool looking bait. And the coolest thing about this bait, Spro's pr price point is usually about between $10 and $12. And if you go to Tackle Warehouse, they're selling this lure between six fifty and eight eighty nine. So between six fifty and nine bucks for a spro lure, that's pretty good, you guys. So um, and I tried it out. I thought it worked very, very well. Um, so buy these things up. That's all I can say. Because um, if if you're a spro fan, you're gonna like these. And Spro's done me right, uh, and all the products that, that, that I've got from them, and this one was a winner for me too. So I really liked it, and at a price point of six fifty to nine bucks, it's under what their their normal suggested retail price from for what most of the lures are between that ten and twelve dollars. So this seems to be a pretty good uh, price for a lure from Spro. So check them out if you guys get the opportunity. And if you guys like the video, hit the like button over here in the lower left corner. I really appreciate that. Kind of lets me know what I'm doing. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Leave a comment, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks a lot.